Good morning, Sealmaster. I know you guys have been a little bit too busy to review tutorials, but let me show you something that I'm certain as a manufacturer will help the people who buy your products put it down, bid it, sell it, enable property owners to understand it a heck of a lot better. So this is pavement layers. We're not gonna dive deep into anything. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a day in the life of one of your customers. Uh, so it's funny, the phone rings and no one's in my office today. And I answer the phone and it's some guy named Dave from Thorworks. If I type in, and we have a lot of customers, I don't know if he's a customer or not, T-H-O-R. If he's a customer, his name will pop up. And I say, Dave, one moment, please. I have all your information. You're still at Campbell Street in Sandusky, Ohio, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the idea. How'd you find out about us, Dave? You know, he found out about us because of a direct mail. And this stuff here is, is qualified that the company would put in later. What's the status of, of the lead and what's the rating? Dave is a great, huge account. He's platinum. But we can rate what the lead is, platinum, gold, or silver. Get the idea behind that. Where's the project at? And Dave's going to say, it's at Campbell Street. Everything's the same. In the project name, we call it uh, the Sandusky Plant. Whatever he may call it. And the contact there on site is Mike Barrett. And we can put in Mike's phone number here because Dave is located somewhere else. And what do they want to have done? They like to do some crack sealing. They want to do a little bit of uh, seal coating and some pavement repair. Now here's what's neat. Our company is called PaveMyDrive.com. And now we're going to assign this lead to one of our sales guys. Let's assign it to this guy, Mike Barrett. We click Add Lead, and the lead is added. So just like a company should track simple stuff like receivables and payables, we now know that there's a lead for Thorworks for the Sandusky plant. The contact's name is Dave Shoup. I, I roll over and he gives me all his information. But you'll also see here live, and I'm pulling it over to you right now, I instantly, and this is, um, I don't know, 11.55 I'm making this, I got this email sent to me because my secretary did it. It comes from Pavement Layers and it says, hey Mike, great news. You have a new lead that was assigned to you for the Sandusky Planet Thor Works. Here's the type of work. Here's the information and so on. So it quickly shows the first step is a simple way to ca capture the lead and then send that lead out. So that's the first stage. So now I'm gonna simulate that there's some guy, Mike Barrett, out in the, in the field and I'm gonna show that to you right now. So I just looked at my email, I'm a sales guy, and I see this Thorwork job came in, and I pull into the job site, and I'm going to tap right down here, my wheel it off button. I'm going to be in the parking lot already, so all I have to do is tap one button right up here, and it's going to go ahead and take me to Thorworks, and you can see it right here. So this is going to run a little bit slow, but you get the idea. I'm just using my finger on an iPad, and if you see this, Let's zoom in here and see what's going on. So you see that I have an ability to move around with my finger, zoom into anything we have. So my car happens to be parked right here and I'm driving around it saying, right, let's get a quick idea of what this place needs. It's completely gray and oxidized, pretend. But what's nice is before I go meet this Dave guy, why wouldn't I be prepared, I'm gonna give her those pins. And again, this is chimpanzee proof of how simple this is. And I'm just using my finger and tapping. Why wouldn't I have an idea? Cause this man, this roadway here, this should be three coats. I'm gonna tap right down here and I'm gonna call this area A. And we'll call it area one. You get the idea. And at any point in time now, I can code this thing. I'm turning those pins off again. Look what I did. I have area one figured out. We're back here and we, we can do anything we want. So let's quickly say, you know what, this definitely has to be paved. And we're gonna take this section here for paving to talk about it. And let's, you know, 
I can be as exact as we want, but for a quick video, you get the idea. And here's the concept, guys. You are on the parking lot looking at this with your eyeballs, not sitting behind a desk doing it. We'll call this paving area. Um, let's see here, I forgot how to spell paving. New lot. And we have these. I tap one button, and this image is going to go up into the contact for paving. And I'm going to send this to a proposal. One second here for a client. The client's name is, I forgot it, T H O. There it is, Thorworks. That's a client. I'm going to tap it once. And what proposal is it? It's for the Sandusky plant. Now I, what do I do? I send this image into a proposal that we are now going to go and create. So, so again, I, I can do all of this in a couple of minutes, but the idea here is you're looking at wheel it off. If it's, it's an iPad app, unlimited measurements. Let's delete this stuff out. Or, or let me just show you some basic features. I can take this and tap one button up here and email this to Dave. Hey Dave, here, you can show this to your boss. This is what we're thinking about paving. Voila, I can email it to them. If it's a crew, imagine the functionality and time savings when the crew comes out and says, I don't know which section I'm seal coating at Thorworks. Well, what's nice here is I can pull over to the side of the roadway in my boat or golf cart or whatever with a crew and be able to tell them this section here, and I'm gonna lock it down. And now I'm gonna tap right here and use my voice and say, hey guys, seal code this section today. And I use my voice to do that. And for people who say they can't type, look, if you zoom in, hey guys, seal code this section today. As simple as can be. So let's now come in and show you how we're gonna produce a proposal. This is the client, Thorworks. I click enter and this is the iPad anything you want let's go open up the proposal so you'll see here that the job name or company name is Thorworks and Dusky Plant there's no price and Dave Shoup's the customer or the property owner I'm sorry let's click at a proposal the, th the first thing we're gonna do is seal coating I think it's like 7600 yards this is called a category this is called an item this could be anything you want Let's click next. I'm using one finger. Make this a little bigger for you. Give me one sec here. There we go. And how big is it? 7,600 square yards or, or whatever it may be. We're going to do one coat. We are going to do two trips. And is it weekday or weekend? It's going to be weekday. We are going to do a squeegee spray. There is no warranty. And the price is uh, 70, 70 cents a yard. Eight, we'll call it 80. We'll call it 5600. Zero, zero, and we have a price. All of this information here, I give people. You'll see what it looks like, but you can change it on the fly to say anything you want. Okay? You can see here it's called Sealmaster Coal Tar. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And voila, it goes on to the right side of the proposal. Let's add some crack sealing. What type? Let's do hot rubberized for 5,000 lineal feet. 5,000 lineal feet. And we know that that is worth, ooh, 50 cents a foot. Make that $2,500. And let's add that one in. So now we just did those two. Now let's, let's add some paving in. And we're gonna do a, a new asphalt parking lot. We click next. I think that was yellow on the map we did, Y-E-L-O-O-W map. You get the idea here. And that measurement was, oh, 3,300 yards. And it's going to be 12 inches deep we're taking out. We're going to put in 8 inches of gravel, 4 inches of base, and um, now we'll do 6 and 2 and two inches, and that's gonna be uh, 25,689 bucks. 
and we finish that one off. So now you'll see we did seal coating, crack sealing, and new asphalt repair. We can move the order of these any way you want. It doesn't matter. Let's scroll on down here now. And here's the images I uploaded. Here's the seal coating image you saw where I tapped a button. And you know what? Do we want to include this? Sure. Let's put in the proposal and a work order, which I'll show you later. The new asphalt surface. Here's the asphalt surface in the back. Let's include that one too. And I click update and it goes in. Now we have a whole bunch of other simple things here, but here's the things that really stump most of your contractors. Let's put our insurance, our workers comp, let's stick in some references. And you know what? This is going to be Sealmaster Coal Tar Brochure. You can make certain people have all of your right MSDS sheets, brochures, everything. So imagine all of this has all of your products in here. So we got it done. Let's go ahead now and say, all right, I'm going to take this proposal. Let's, let's see, right now at the top of my screen, it's 12.04 on Monday. This is what it will look like. You have a cover page, you have a secondary page here which, with the company provider's information and about us, we solve problems. You have a third page here with well-written specs, and I'm going to send this right out here to Dave. Uh, and Dave, whoever you're sharing this with, you can share with them uh, this exact proposal. And again, all of this can be customized. Hot crack sealing rubberized, new asphalt vault repair. What do we have? We have a nice price breakdown. We have a, a, a area to sign. Dave is a customer. Mike is the contractor. We have all the attachments here, the insurance and references. Click on this, they pop up. Look at the beautiful pictures, how they pop up. This is standard app. This is premium app of sealer. And, and this is the yellow paving area. So you saw me do that live, but I screwed up. Let's go back. I forgot to add something to this that I, I know as a, as a large coding contractor years ago, that's super important. All the callbacks you get oftentimes are from what to expect when, with coding. So when we come here, we created a section called customized text. Again, pre-done. Let's go to seal coding commercial. And I pre-give, I'm going to include all these in the proposal. It talks about everything that you need to know about coding work. So I can say, make sure you give this to your facility operation guy so all this is taken care of, such as important things like get everything off the parking lot. When you drive on the surface, turning your wheels. Hey, in, in the, in the north, what's that white residue coming out on that gray lot that we just made black in the middle of August? Pavement sealer is going to take 30 days to cure. Sprinklers, barricading, and so on. Let's add this one in and add this one in. So you guys can see I just clicked a couple of these and added them. Now let's take a peek and see what we just did in a couple seconds here to the proposal. Cover page, secondary page, and again, Dave will shoot you this email or forward it to you. Here's all this. Now we see how we added all of this section to make it easier. All right, I'm going to send an email right now to Dave, and I'm going to write in here, um, sent at right now in Cincinnati, it is 12.06 p.m. on Monday today. So I'm going to send this out to Dave right now. All right, it's done. It's gone. So now what's interesting is I'll get an email coming from uh, Pavement Layers telling me when Dave opens that. It's really cool. So, so at any type in time when I type in ThorWorks, when I'm the boss and I have this guy Mike Barrett, hey, what's going on with that ThorWorks job? I click here and say, let's see what's going on with that. And I can see that today um, at 4, April the 1st, he sent the proposal out to Dave Shoup. Do you see how it shows me that? I also see here that he did a bunch of stuff to the proposal. When and if Dave opens this, I'm going to get an email back telling me everything about that. So that's just one, I guess we showed you leads, how to shoot something out to uh, someone in the field, how we can go look at a job using Wheel It Off, and how we can put together a proposal. So when Dave, when Dave happens to call back up, 
and says, you know what, I got the, that proposal for ThorWorks. Can you make two adjustments for me? And I say, sure. He goes, you know what, let's add a section of seal coating and I want to do it, actually the 7,600 yards, we have to do it in one trip. Is there a discount? Absolutely. The price now goes down to 5,200 bucks. And I click save and it's done. It's a live document. So in the field or anywhere I am, I'm able to do all of that stuff. On the dashboard, all of your customers would know. Now, now mind you, I, I have the biggest people in the world using this. I got, I got companies with 20 and 30 employees. Dave, you've talked to a couple. People know instantaneously by the company or by the individual where they stand. And we track it by what's, when you give a proposal, is open. Dave's going to call back and say, you got it, we want it, or you lost it. Or it's on hold. But in any event, we know what's going on. Let me take a peek at my email here, see if Dave is, uh, take a look. No, Dave didn't get it. But I did get this. I, the, the user automatically gets an email sent to him for the proposal. So now as nice as my feeling is, as a manufacturer, you're showing your customers how to, how to attack the two things they complain about the most. Number one is time. They're busy, 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 and they're busy being busy. They're not being effective. Number two is money. So when you could add a proposal, edit a proposal, add a client, and so on, wow, it's simple. There's a calculator button in here. It shows you the simplest way to take that job we bit, bit, I'm sorry, bid, it's two coats, it's 7,600 square yards, and again, this is a, t a tutorial. You would not believe the people who have no idea how to figure out a job. We know to do a, a really poor job, we're putting down a point one, one two. but let's, let's do a decent job. Most guys are going to be putting down a point one five spraying it, whether you like it or not, whether the manufacturer says it or not. But let's teach the property owners of how much black bulk they should be buying. Let's do this job as a 0.16, and let's go with 20% water and a 1% additive. So we're developing this, but you'll see everything on the right side changes, okay? What's my sealer cost? Oh, uh, let's say two bucks, sand is four bucks a bag, and additive is 12 bucks, and I'm just throwing these numbers out, and the labor rate is, say, 26 bucks an hour. The, the user only has to fill these in once. So now we know for a 7,600 yard job, it's going to be uh, four men, 11 hours, it's dirty. Uh, we can teach them about overhead and profit. And what's nice is we instantaneously see how the prices change here and how the user knows what he has to take. So he's going to come into here and call this uh, Thor Works job and print it up and you'll see this will be incorporated right into the proposal tool and give me one second here Hit the wrong button so get an idea of what it looks like real simple here's your material costs here's your labor oh man i made a mistake it's going to be three men and you know your yardage price so generally we know sealer costs 30 cents a yard Labor should cost about 10 to 12. Why is it 15? It's a lot dirtier. So wanted to share some things with you. Hopefully this didn't bore you, but what I know is this. This has changed the industry. Love for you guys to be part of it. Talk soon.